how well this offense worked back in week six. Things are a little bit different now, but explain to me why this offense is looking so good in the playoffs so far. One of the things I love about this offense is what offensive coordinator Ben Johnson has done, and it's really through motions and formations, the information he provides to the quarterback, Jared Goff. Listen, there's only two kinds of, of coverages in the NFL in football. You have man and zone. Oh, yeah. And Ben Johnson tells Jared Goff every single play which one it's going to be. So you're telling me as a quarterback, you've cut that down in half. I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> man, unbelievable. Could you do any of that? No, man. No way. And so many of the games that we're showing against these two teams are Arrowhead Stadium, where at least the defense is comfortable at home. Not going to be that way today. They have not played in Buffalo since 2020. And Josh Allen is 5-1 and one in the playoffs at home. Us. Thank you so much, Rashad. You know, Rashad, I was thinking about it. Like you, your team has been doubted this year. Been the underdog. You come in as the underdog into a den of lions, if you will, in Detroit today. How would you describe the mentality of your team right now? Lie to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. So, like, I've been oh, big yeah, on March yeah, since I was, like, young, just growing up, man. And Wait. it's just huge. And coming to Detroit. Do you know that Teddy Bruschi went to Arizona? I'm a Sun Devil personally, so go Devils. Oh. But Teddy looks offended right now. Why go ahead, Bruce. What, what, what are we doing uh, here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk this year about the, the NFL running back. And you do everything in the, at that position very well. You're third in the National Football League in catches. You're third on the team as good as theirs but it's no disrespect but I just like handling business so my play uh, just certain play calls and things like that uh, coming out the backfield I let it you know catch the ball deep downfield and uh, we got I had a couple deep touchdowns this year off of that things like that okay Rashad just just divisional round playoffs tensions Against today saying this week if you give that Tampa group a good quarterback that's a great group. Now, Baker had a great response to it, as he always does. We are ready to see. <laughs> you know, you just be glad Rex Ryan didn't hear uh, that. Hey, Rashad. Uh, out of you the guys, yeah, the right. region, they kept me out of Rashad, the segment. you are you the best. They kept me out of the Good segment. luck out hey, Rashad, there today. Wildcat Go Devils. Today. And we'll Thanks. see you next time. Good luck out there. You're a great one, though. Thank you guys for having me on. Appreciate Thanks you guys. coming on. Good luck. Getting reunited when we get these two together. It's time for a special edition of You Got Moss, a divisional round edition. Yes, right over the head, just like that. I'll tell you got. trying to boss them all. <laughs> <laughs> look, Sam, I got my brother Larry Fitzgerald just welcoming me in, man. Not going to keep the people wait. Let's go, divisional. Oh, that felt disrespectful hey. right there. Well, it did. Like, well, last week was Larry at our number one. I had to throw him in there somehow, That's Sam. Point. How many mossings do you think you had, if you had to guess? Round it out. Just a few. Just a few? Yeah, just a a few. few? Yeah. All right. I mean, can't compete with this guy. But close <laughs> enough. We'll take it. I think somebody's getting my to smile watching Man, that. They're going. They're going. They're going. I, 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 I want more of that. Enjoying that. Well, I'll keep guessing you up. I know you guys have a special relationship. I think a lot of us have heard about the whole ball boy thing in Minnesota when your dad was working there and Randy was playing. It was it was more than that. It was more than just being a ball boy. And whenever he would get a double pair, he would give me give me a pair, give me the give me the outfits. I mean, he always kept me clean. But <laughs> when I picked up my day, she's like, "What you doing driving?" I said, "I'll just get in the car. Come on, let's get in the car. We gotta go." And uh, good thing her parents didn't come out to see, but. Uh, but it was it was beautiful. All right, let's talk about we could sit here talking about old stuff all day long. We'll keep doing that in the break. But for now, let's talk about the wide receivers that we're going to see this weekend. I think it's a big really, day today. I love okay. two of the greatest to ever like do it, that. giving love to these young receivers. But let's talk about some of the DBs they're going to be up against. Randy in a good mood today. It's 27th birthday, like Randy said. That Hold was, on, Sam. That, stop yep. running. You, did you hear him tell Tyreek yeah. Hill to stop running from him? But I remember a couple guys. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually glad you brought that up because I am curious. Probably the most important question I'm going to ask today. Day, the corner you most hated playing against. You go first. <laughs> oh, man. Um, and, uh, he's definitely one of those guys that always let you know how he felt. Yeah, he still let yeah, us know. Yeah. Uh, Randy, later. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I always, I always love competing, but that's my number one Nat right there. The number one Nat. That is a sign of respect <laughs> from one of the greatest of all time. I just got to say, I love Larry telling us how generous you are and how generous you've always been because we're doing a group dinner next week, and I think one time it didn't go well. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't always work that way for me. Y'all leave me alone. <laughs> we love you. We love you. And we're going to talk more with you when we come back. Still to come on count. You guys, Kimberly, Lions fans excited about that. And we are excited about Game Breakers. Oh, oh, oh they got to get warmed up for this. Okay, it's the only segment they actually have to stretch out before they do it. Alex, what do you have for us today? Oh, Teddy, I got something for you right here. Get out. Like, Enjoy the Lions <laughs> Still to come on countdown. You didn't get too old for this.
Larry, you get to go first. Let's start on the Bucks and Lions. Who are you taking? I'm going with the Lions. I'm going with the Lions. Man, I love this Lions team. It has been so much fun seeing Rex get fired up for his son, the wide receivers coach there. I feel like family. I really want to root for this Lions team today, and I will. But I don't think they're going to win. I think today is Baker Mayfield's you day. You just don't I want think blue hair. This, this, right, that's, that's, that's why you right went on. all the way on that this, side. I did. I moved. <laughs> I think Baker goes off today. He's so great on the road. 18 <laughs> touchdowns over the season on the road. I think they have a great day and pull off the upset. Let's get to the Chiefs and the Bills. This one in Buffalo. What do you think, Larry? I'm going with the Bills. They're playing oh, thank you, so right? The best players come out in big games like this, man. There's no way that I can pick against. Patrick Mahomes and these Super Bowl champions, man, you got to defeat him, man. So I think that Rasheed Rice, but man, do not forget about the backfield and Mr. Pacheco, man. He's going to be huge today. Give me the Kansas City. <laughs> That's right. Offense wins games. Run Defense hard. wins championships. Is that what they say, Rex? They do. Uh, the Chiefs got the better defense in this one. I like them going on the road. I think, again, they've heard the noise. I think they answer the bell and get the W today. How consistent have the Chiefs been all year in terms of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back performances where there hasn't been a mistake, there hasn't been a penalty by a defensive back, or hasn't been a penalty by a right tackle in a critical situation? I think tomorrow we're talking about old problems that couldn't be fixed by the Chiefs. I think we're going to see them today. I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills, the home field advantage, and just I think they're just more more stable right now. I know. Stable with Josh Allen. Josh, yeah, yeah, there you go. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm going with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. I think Josh gets way too much hate. This is a guy who's been really special this year. As Spags <clears throat> talked about trying to bring down a bear. I think they will struggle tackling Josh Allen today. Although I was a little nervous when you were talking about Patrick Mahomes and what happens to him in the playoffs. He's never seen Bill's Mafia in Buffalo. I think that's going to be a factor today. And the Bills get the win at home. Rex, I appreciate you telling everybody I was 9-1 and one over the last 10. I was probably 1-9 and nine the weeks before that. But we all do our best. And we're going to see our very best tonight on NFL Prime. Cleo, for me, how's this one going to go? Do you see it high scoring, low scoring, close? What do you think? Oh, no, I think it's definitely going to be high scoring. Both these offenses can go. Bad matchups for the defense. Detroit, though, man, keep Baker in the pocket. Make him pitch it out of a, out of a well. That's what you did the last time you played. I think if you do that, you got a great chance. Teddy, you got a final thought for us? I think, yeah, getting to golf for the pressure is yeah. key for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like I talked about that delivery. Just one little touch on that arm. You're going to give me, show me that long delivery. Just give me that long delivery. I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me that long delivery, man. Because he's trying, he's trying to get the tips and overthrows. Got to get those. Thank you.